everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I'm going to share with you this super cute little fall themed box that I made using the Falling for Leaves bundle. This has been my focus this week um, over on my Facebook group, and in fact, this is a project I did on my Facebook Live. So if you follow the link here in the description, you'll find a blog post with three projects. Here's today's, and down at the bottom will be the measurements and all the pro products that you need for your project. All right, so can you guess what's inside? How about a little jar of apple butter? Isn't it cute? This is from World Market also, um, along with the previous project that I did. And if you don't have a World Market or you don't wanna give a jar of this cute butter, I think this would be perfect just for anything. Fill it up with Hershey Kisses, um, put little candies or little homemade treats in there. It's tiny and it's cute and it's perfect for this time of year. All right, well, let's get started. Let's make our box first. Remember, these measurements are all over on my blog, so make sure you click on that post, that link there in the comments. All right, you're gonna first need a piece of Poppy Parade that is seven and a half by four and three fourths. We're going to measure, we're going to score the long side at one and three fourths, three and a half, five and a fourth, and seven. Then we're going to score the short side at one and three fourths. All right, now while we have it, let's go ahead and do the lid. This is soft suede, five and a fourth by five and a fourth. And we're going to score it on at one and three fourths on all four sides. All right, so now we can set this aside. And let's start with a box bottom. Here is, let's see, we need the bone folder. Here is the long, the long score line that we did on the short side. Let's burnish all these lines. I'm using my bone folder. I like to use my bone folder to score. I just forget to get it for my videos. I was excited today when I pulled it out and remembered because it does make your lines nice and crisp. All right, we're gonna cut out this little skinny rectangle right here, okay? So just trim that out. And then we're going to cut each of these score lines right here, all the way up to that horizontal score line. Now, I'm just gonna take this tab, just so that we don't have any overlapping cardstock, and trim those corners like that. All right, so grab your tear and tape, and put tear and tape first here on this long side. Tear and tape is the adhesive of choice for 3D projects, in my opinion. So I've put it on that long tab, I'm gonna fold that over, and now you can see we've got a box. And all we need to do is fold in these bottoms. I like to find that seam and make sure that that's gonna be the back side. So this one will be the front side. That's the last one I'm gonna fold in so we have a nice, clean, rounded edge. All right, so fold in one, and then you can put adhesive on the next one. I'm just doing the sides first. And then I'll do the back. Now this little jar of butter is quite heavy, so I wanna make sure that my box is sturdy. So I'm gonna use quite a bit of he adhesive. Sometimes if it's, if it's something light, I won't put adhesive on all three tabs, but this one, definitely, we don't want that jar falling out and breaking. All right, so there's our box bottom. Now over to our soft suede, soft suede square. Ooh, say that three times. I'm gonna fold in all those lines. And this time, I'm gonna cut the corner from the um, bottom of that score line to the top of that one on all four sides. So cut off the corners, basically. Get those out of the way. Now I'm going to, and it doesn't matter which side you do this on, just make sure you do it on two opposite sides. I'm gonna cut up that score line and that score line, and then that one and that one. All right, so those are gonna be the flaps that fold in like this. So we can put some adhesive right here, probably on the sides would be the best. So let's do that, let's open that, put some adhesive here. Tear and tape is great because you can just tear it. You don't have to cut it with your scissors. And it is super strong. And it lasts a long time. I use it a lot and it still lasts me quite a, quite a long time. 
There we go. My nails are so short right now, it's hard for me to get those little backings off. Uh-oh, that one's a little bit longer, so I'm just going to tuck that in like that. All right, so fold these. Let's fold the triangles in first. Fold the triangles and fold up and fold up. And there we go. And there's your lid. All right, now, because these are pretty close to the same size, I'm going to squeeze that in just a little bit. There we go. See how I did that? Just squeeze it in a little bit and slide it down. And then it'll straighten up when it's inside. All right, so there's our box. Now let's make the really cute tag. I'm using this stamp um, from the Falling Leaves set, and I'm going to stamp it in soft suede on crumb cake. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment also in, whoa, we've got a, we've got a loose stamp. Let's see. I'm gonna stamp that in soft suede. The reason that did that is because I have used that stamp so much that it needs a good wash. If your stamps ever fall off the block, you guys, just take it to the sink, give it a bath with some Dawn dish soap, and it is like new. Okay, so let's do some die cutting. First, we're gonna cut out two leaves. Here are the framelits, and I need this one right here. And then let's get it matched up. Your magnetic platform will hold it right where you need it. Then I've got a piece of, ooh, I better slide it over so you can see, soft suede. And I'm going to use the outline leaf. See how we have two leaves? This is a de detailed leaf, and I'm gonna use it in my next video if you're looking for ideas for that. But this one is just the outline, and that's all we wanna do with this. All right, clear plate back on top. And run it through your big shot. But we're not done with the big shot yet. We're actually going to emboss this leaf. All right, there we've got our so saffron leaf and our crumb cake stamped leaf. Now I'm going to emboss, so I have to take out my magnetic platform and replace it with just the big shot, regular platform that comes with your big shot. Now I'm using one of our thicker embossing folders and that means I'm not gonna put a clear plate on the bottom. I'm just gonna put a clear plate on the top. This is the corrugated embossing folder. It's new also in the holiday catalog. And I'm gonna run that leaf through there and let's take a look at it. Fun, just create some really nice texture. All right, I think we're ready to put our box together. Let's see, we've got at our so saffron leaf and we've got this leaf we're going to put them together with dimensionals just up here at the top don't worry it'll be covered in a minute all right now i'm going to take some of the garden green baker's twine this is designed for christmas but guys that doesn't mean you can't use it all year long green is a fall color too and i'm going to make this bow kind of big because it's going to be behind another bow and I'm gonna stick it right there in that glued, I mean that dimensional. Then I've got the Poppy Parade. I'm bringing the Poppy Parade in to match the cardstock. This is the Poppy Parade woven ribbon. One of my favorite ribbons we have. Tie that bow. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller because we wanna be able to see that twine bow. Cut those off at an angle. And then I'm just gonna get a glue dot maybe two glue dots since this is quite a large bow. And stick it right on top of there. A little bit, just a tad bit under that bow. Isn't that so, oh no, I tore my leaf, but that's okay, it's just the stem. There we go. Now we've got that. The last thing we need to do is get our sentiment and we're gonna cut this off. Actually, I forgot my punch, so let's do it by hand. If you have some scissors, some tiny scissors, use them. Let's see, let's cut a little bit more off. Let me show you how to make a V. Cut right up in the center, and then go from the bottom corner up to the top of that, that line, just like that. All right, so start in the center, from the corner to the top, and the corner to the top. There we go. All right, one more dimensional. 
And I think we're gonna do this up here like this. It's gonna cover up part of that leaf, but that's okay. Oh goodness, I'm just a mess today, aren't I? But that's okay, it's covered up. It's covered up, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's not, look, how sad. All right, let's try again. Okay, now up here, we want it tucked under. There we go, now we can see the leaf what's left of it. <laughs> there we go, isn't that so cute? And all you need to do now is get a couple more dimensionals and I'm just gonna put them up here. Okay, come on, like that. And put it on that lid so that when it's the lid is taken off, the tag is taken with it. All right, you guys, I hope you like this project and I hope you learned a little bit about making mistakes and how to fix them. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you hop back over to my blog and grab that PDF so you can make your own cute little gift box. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.